I was going to say, I think uh, a big reason why people get so cut up on the e-collar is, you know, non-trainers, I guess, you sure. know, send home people, um, dog owners in mm-hmm. general, um, you know, newbies, newbies. Yeah. <laughs> I think is because at home they've tried, you know, saying no or sure. giving commands and nothing ever worked. So now that they, they come, they get the training they're like, oh, well, the the big difference is that we have this e collar now, sure. you know. So I think that's that's a good point. That's a big st- that's a very good yeah point. stipulation why people get it in their head that mm-hmm. oh we we it's the e collar that, that's different because <laughs> I was saying no at home, but they don't understand that they were saying the details behind yeah. it. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's no different than a lot of people um, that uh, let's say because here's the thing, right? Like I'm I'm playing devil's advocate and bouncing back and forth here. We have a lot of clients that'll come to us that they call and they're like, I tried a force free or positive only training program and it didn't work. Right. Yep. The dog listened, but they only listened if I had a cookie out. Right. Mm -hmm. And I openly tell every single one of them when I hear that exact thing, well, that's not because of the force free training, right? Like force free training doesn't get your dog contingent on seeing a treat in your hand. No different than e-collar training doesn't get the dog contingent on seeing a remote in your hand. Mm -hmm. That has to do with your timing and your communication and how you're implementing your markers and your actual handling abilities, Mm -hmm. right? There's plenty of stuff. Like again, when I used to do competition training, a lot of the competition training I did was primarily reward based. There wasn't a lot of correction uh, implemented into those things because we're just teaching precise behaviors, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And And I didn't have that problem. And that wasn't because I was using e-collars and stuff like that. That was because I understood the mechanics of the training that I was doing. Yeah. You know what I mean?